something big is coming. Something beyond imagination. It's not animal. It's not mineral. So it must be... <laughs> vegetable. Oh, good to see you. What a trip! Set sail for the ultimate adventure. There's nothing like a crew to clean the sand out of your wicket, hey? Sorry! My fault! Oops. And the tail of the biggest fish in the sea. Something touched me! Hold on, Jonah! You are pathetic. The veggies are at it again. <laughs> Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. This fall, veg out. Sounds like someone needs a hero. Larry Boy is back. I'm on it. And this time, he's discovered that not only does evil have a name. Alchemist, I have found you. It's got a mom. Soon, Bumbleberg will be all ours. I wanted to say that part. Will Larry Boy <laughs> defeat this fiendish family? You're no match for me, Pickle Boy. Or will he be an unwitting accomplice in their plot against the good citizens of Bumbleberg? Everyone stay back. Or the tomato gets it. I'd use my plunge of ears, but I might hit Bob. The cartoon adventures of Larry Boy continue with Lego My Ego. Available in stores everywhere August 27th from the studios of Big Idea. Three cheers for Larry Boy! Nothing says action. Yeah! Nothing says fun. Bonesaw! Nothing says edge of your seat thrills. Hang on! Like a summer at... Grandma's house. Oh, that's Grandmom to you. But this is no ordinary Grandmom. What's all this then? And this is no ordinary house. <laughs> this summer vacation, the fate of the universe lies in the hands of Jason T. Conrad. Pretty terrifying. His twin sister Michelle. I'm the cute one. And four flightless friends. Jason T. Conrad, we need your help. Fearless commander and cosmic comedian, Captain Sigil. <laughs> Everybody, no hands. Pilot and engineer extraordinaire, First Officer Mitchell. Your leisure is our pleasure. Resident genius and intergalactic ukulele player, uh, Dr. Fidgel. I'm so enjoying myself. And Kevin. Hello. 321 Penguins will take you on the ride of your life. The galaxy waits for no man. And no matter what the adventure, let the games begin. Jason and Michelle are picking up what the Penguins are throwing down. You make a really good team. Three incredible missions, two courageous kids, one great time. <laughs> Get in on the action of Planet Wait Your Turn. Hey, Park! Save it! Save a bandicoot in Bulamanka. Sensors indicate fun! And carry on at a crazy carnival. This just keeps getting better. For the kind of fun that really sticks with you. From the studios of Big Idea, three, two, one, Penguins. Now on video and DVD. Strap yourselves in. It could be a bumpy ride. Stay tuned for more after the show. Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Uh, y yeah, Bob. What do I do? Hmm, let's see. I know, you play the guitar. Bob, I don't have any hands. Oh, you're right. Well, okay, well, you play this. I don't want to play that. Oh, look silly. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Nope, not gonna do it. It's for the kids. Oh, okay. But they better not laugh. All right, better get on out there. If you like to talk to tomatoes, 
If a squash can make you smile If you like to waltz with potatoes Up and down the produce aisle Have we got a show for you songs and more. Uh, I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. W well, there's no need to hide it, Larry. We want everybody to know we're making our first big movie. On the big screen. Um, Bob, now everybody will be able to see my mole. Uh, don't worry, Larry. Uh, they have makeup to take care of those things. Oh, good. Just think, Bob, we're making a movie about Jonah. The incredible story of a man who swallowed a whale. Uh, Larry, I think you're mixed up. Am not. Uh, Larry, Jonah didn't swallow a whale. Did too. Uh, okay, let's ask the expert. Uh, Archibald Asparagus, who's gonna play Jonah in the movie. He's in his dressing room. Hey, Archibald! Uh, yes? Uh, did Jonah swallow a whale? What? That's preposterous! I've never had such a ridiculous fabrication in my life! Yes or no? No! The whale swallowed Jonah, and not the other way around. Thanks, Archibald. Uh, see, Larry? I thought for sure Jonah swallowed something. Maybe it was a goldfish. I know. It's hard to admit when you're wrong, but even Jonah learned how important it is to do that. Uh, okay, Archibald. It's time to come out. Uh, they're ready for you on the set. Uh, I'm staying right here, thank you. S staying? Why? I'm not all that fond of being swallowed by a whale. Archibald, there's more to the story than that. Before Jonah was swallowed by a whale, he was a famous prophet who brought God's messages to his people. Dear people, I bring you a message from the Lord. <gasps> oh, it's a message of encouragement. <sighs> Do not fight. Not cheat, wash your hands before you eat. There is nothing quite as sweet a message from the Lord. Be a friend, say your prayers. Heaven loves a heart that cares. That is why I've come to share a message from the Lord. And if you follow God's command, there will be peace throughout the land. You will live long and happy lives. Right. 
Archibald, that was great! See, being Jonah isn't so bad. Oh, sure. That scene wasn't bad. It's what's about to happen that worries me. You'll do just fine. Uh, come on out, Archibald. I'm, uh, busy right now. Busy? Uh, doing what? I'm, uh, in the bathtub. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm in the bathtub, practicing for the big storm scene. Uh, the big storm scene? Oh, yes! Uh, uh, look at those rolling waves! Help! Help! Blub! Blub! Hey, wait a minute. You have a bathtub in your dressing room? Bob, this isn't fair. Now, Larry... I want a bathtub in my dressing room. I'm as big a star as Archibald is. Uh, Larry, I... I guess the producers don't care whether I'm attached to this project or not. Where's my agent? You need to let go of your anger. But, but... You're right, Bob. I'll go calm down in my dressing room. I'm off to raid the fridge for cheese curls and root beer. Uh, cheese curls and root beer? Sure, that's the favorite food of the pirates who don't do anything. We're practically the stars of the movie. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland and I've never been to Denver and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul and I've never been to Moscow and I've never been to Tampa and I've never been to Boston in the pool. We're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home. Never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never bear the starboard, cause I never sail at all. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned that ferret, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. about what a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate. Hey, that's right. We're supposed to sing about piratey things. Oh. And who's ever kissed a chipmunk? That's just nonsense. Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the captain. That's who? Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Arrgh! Yikes! And I've never licked a spark plug, and I've never sniffed a stink bug, and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball, and I've never bathed in yogurt, and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Archibald, please come out of the dressing room. If you'll come out and be in the movie, I've got a big surprise for you. Really? What would that be? My giant super jumbo movie popcorn. Uh, oh, my. Uh, did did you get extra butter? Extra butter? Um, just a minute. Oops! Whoa! <laughs> What's going on out there? Uh, it's nothing, Archibald. Larry's just a little uh, buttery. Buttery? You're supposed to get the butter on the popcorn, not yourself. Oh, like I didn't know that! The deal is off! I'm not coming out! Nice going, Larry. Whoa! Uh, Bob, 
This would probably be a good time to roll the next song. Maybe a little nautical ditty to go with the theme of the movie. Oh, look what the cat drug in. Wonder what they brought back this time. Hey, uh, there's your wife, Olaf. Mm, yep, and there's your wife, Harold. Oh, boy, do they love us or what? Well, what's not to love? I mean, after all, we're Viking. What do you know? The terrors of the sea. We're Viking. Wherever we go, pillaging happily. We're Viking. Let there be no ambiguity. Viking. There's a fish with a pretty yellow circle at the bottom of the backside of his fin. Look, Olaf, there's another and another and another. And that little one has got a funny grin. Well, I don't oh, look, see Olaf, it. Olaf, 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 way down underneath the water. It's the biggest fish I think I've ever seen. Look, Olaf, he's got purple spots and orange and yellow markings and a dorsal fin that's iridescent green. What? Oitar, I don't see any of that. Sven, we've got to distract him. Help me out. Oh. Look, Olaf, there's a turtle and he's wearing pink pajamas and he's got a cowboy hat upon his lid. Look, Olaf, very close and see he's riding on a llama and he's chasing down the herd of giant squid. Look, Olaf, 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 There's a whale that's dancing with a bear. Look, Olaf, it's a mermaid. It's an ostrich. It's a bunny. Look, Olaf, please look anywhere, but... I don't see anything. What? But there. Thank you, thank you, our new friends. You saved us from the sea. Our share of gold, so rare and big TVs. But when we share, we get our share of friends. So what's the use? A golden goose is no excuse for being mean. When we share, we get a share of friends. All right, Archibald, we've had enough of this nonsense. You come out of your dressing room this instant. No, I won't be in your Jonah movie. Not if I have to get swallowed by a whale. What? Larry, that's not very compassionate. You're gonna hurt Archibald's feelings. It's called tough love, Bob. Stop it! Ah! Lights! Hmm. Uh, maybe they blew a fuse on the movie set. Bob, you know how I get when the lights go out. I'm... I'm... Uh, afraid of the dark? I'm just more of a... Day person. Maybe if you knew what it was like to be in the belly of a whale, you could be more compassionate toward Archibald. Uh, remember, Jonah was in the whale for three days. Here, listen to this. I've sunk this low As I walk the plankton In a sanctum Got out of Dodge Sailed on a bunless bon voyage You said north I headed south Toss overboard Good lord That's a really large mouth I'm sleeping with fishes here In the belly of the whale I'm highly nutritious here Through 
that age-old question How to exit a whale's digestion It might behoove me to be heaved Head out like a human comet Hmm, I wonder what rhymes with comet I'm sleeping with fishes here Let me welcome you to my Veggie Tales memorabilia auction. Yeah, uh, auction? Just look at these priceless memories around us, Bob. Here's a piece of chewing gum used by the Peony Brothers in that epic veggie classic, Esther, the girl who became queen. And the Larry Boy helmet from Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. Uh, Larry? Now, how much would you pay for a jelly donut only partially eaten by Jerry Gord on the set of Dave and the Giant Pickle? Uh, partially eaten? Do I hear 25, 38, 77 and a half? 77 and a half? <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh. You smush it. You buy it, Bob. Larry, it was an accident. Doesn't matter. Uh, but I don't have $77. Uh, that's $77 million. What? It's a very rare donut. But I don't have that kind of money. You gotta show some mercy, Larry. Mercy, eh? How much are you give me for it? Mercy is free, Larry. And just as God shows us mercy, we need to be merciful to others. Oh. Hey, that's what Jonah learned. Oh, all right. Mercy granted. You can keep your 77 million. Uh, gee, thanks, Larry. Uh, now, would you help me get Archibald out of his dressing room? Sure. But, uh, would you mind scraping the jelly off the floor? Now, Billy Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid. On the third day of third grade, I'll tell you what he did. He fell out of a fishing boat. Now, Billy Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid. On the first day of first grade, I'll tell you what he did. He tripped over a pencil box, flew up in the air, landed on a kangaroo, pulled out all his hair. He needed first aid in the first grade. First aid in the first grade. First aid in the first grade. You could buy a zoo with all the doctor bills he paid. Now, Billy Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid. On the second day of second grade, I'll tell you what he did. He slipped on a banana peel, flew up in the sky, landed on a chimpanzee who poked him in the eye. He needed first day in the second grade. First day in the second grade. First day in the second grade. You could buy a zoo with all the doctor bills he paid. Now, Billy Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid. On the third day of third grade, I'll tell you what he did. He fell out of a fishing boat, splashed into the sea. Landed on a moray eel who bit him on the knee. He needed first aid in the third grade. First aid in the third grade. First aid in the third grade. You can buy a zoo with all the doctor bills he paid. <laughs> 
Now, Billy Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid. On the sixth day of sixth grade, I'll tell you what he did. He went out on a field, tripped the first one of the year. Back into a saber tooth and pierced both of his ears. He did first day in the sixth grade. Now, Billy Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid. On the eighth day of eighth grade, I'll tell you what he did. He tried to play some basketball, went up for a dunk. Landed in the bushes and got squirted by a skunk. He needed first aid in the eighth grade. First aid in the eighth grade. First aid in the eighth grade. You can buy a zoo with all the doctor visit me. Now, Billy Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid. On the ninth day of ninth grade, I'll tell you what he did. He fed the pigs on Grandpa's farm to piglets and a sow. Slipped on all their slop and then got stepped on by a cow. He did first aid in the ninth grade. First aid in the ninth grade. First aid in the ninth grade. You could buy a zoo with all the doctor bills he paid. Joe McGuffey was a really clumsy kid clumsy. On the tenth day of tenth grade I'll tell you what he did He went out on some water skis And hit a sunken log Wiped out on the lily pads Got spit on by a fog First day Clumsy kid on the twelfth day of twelfth grade, I'll tell you what he did. He walked into financial aid, fell and broke a bone. Showed them all his bills and got a great big college loan. He needed first aid in the twelfth grade. First aid in the twelfth grade. First aid in the twelfth grade. You could buy a zoo with all the doctor bills he paid. You could buy a zoo with all the doctor bills he paid. Let's do another Twippo song. I love Twippo. Uh, Bob? Uh, yeah, Larry. I figured out how to get Archibald out of his dressing room so he can play Jonah in our new movie. Well, how? By giving him courage. Oh, great thinking, Larry. Uh, maybe you can slip some under his door. Not a bad idea, Bob. But I had something else in mind. Oh, Archibald! I'm not coming out, and you can't make me! Fear not! I'm gonna inspire you with Courageous Heroes from the silver screen! Uh, Larry? Dum da dum 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 da dum I'm Indiana Larry! Sorry, not inspirational! The name's Bond. Larry Bond. Uh, no. And that's a terrible British accent. Archibald needs a hero. I am that hero. I'm afraid not. Uh, I mean, I am afraid. Still. It's okay, Larry. Real courage doesn't come from watching movie heroes. It comes from believing God. Uh, that's what Jonah learned. God's got a mercy. God's got Get a smile from Mr. Grumpy Pants. So if you say you're sorry for all the stuff you do, know that he'll be ready with the second chance for you. Praise the Lord, he's a God of second chances. You'll be floored, how his love and life enhances. You can be restored from your darkest circumstances. Our God is a God of second chances. Our God is a God. 
doing? Well, Bob, since Archibald is never coming out of his dressing room, we've got to take matters into our own hands, so to speak. Uh, what do you mean? Well, we have to get someone else to play Jonah in our new movie. Someone named me. Jonah spent some time in the water. Uh, Larry? It's okay, Bob. I already have it memorized. <clears throat> Your part? No. My acceptance speech for the Academy Awards. You like me. You really, really like me. Uh, Larry, that's a... Uh... I'd like to thank all the little people whose names I can't remember. Larry. And so I accepted Best Actor and Lifetime Achievement Award, recognizing that once in a generation there comes an actor whose body of work embodies an entire body of water. Larry. I think you're forgetting something that Jonah discovered. Oh? What's that? That it's important to praise God. You're just praising yourself. Yeah, but... <gasps> What was that? It's Archibald. He's come out of his dressing room. That's it. I cannot stand another minute of this. Archibald, are you going to be Jonah after all? Yes. I can't let him do it. Did you hear that speech? Well, yes. The only thing he has in common with Jonah is going overboard. We're glad you're back, Archibald. Aren't we, Larry? Um, can pirates win best supporting actor? Uh, we'll find out, Larry. Uh, we'll all find out a lot in the story of Jonah. Yeah, like how it feels to be whale chow. What? What did he say? Oh, nothing. I'm sleeping with fishes here In the belly of the whale I'm highly nutritious here In the belly of the whale Bad food, lousy atmosphere I don't want to bellyache How long is this gonna take? We are the was the night before Christmas when the house lights came down. Final number, with lights, and the you-know-what. On a Christmas spectacular that'll be the toast of the town. You're in for a treat tonight? Oh, yeah. There are rocket cars, music, and laughs, that's for certain. Not bad, huh? Millward! And a message of love before the last curtain. From the studios of Big Idea, Star of Christmas. Coming this fall on video and DVD.